In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can reduce the index on a radical by using some exponent properties of radicals. Recall that an exponent on a radical... I'm sorry, the index on a radical is simply the denominator of each exponent. This means the x to the 6th under the radical could be written as x to the 6th over 8, over the index of 8, times y to the, making the index the denominator, 2 over 8. What you might notice about both of these denominators is that they can be reduced with the numerators by dividing by 2. 6 eighths reduce to 3 fourths. 2 eighths reduces to 1 fourth. Again, now we see that there is this denominator in common in both of them of a 4. We can convert back to radical notation using that denominator of 4 as the index, keeping the 3 on the x as an exponent and the 1 on a y as an exponent. And what we have done is we have reduced the index on the radical from 8 down to 4. However, we can shortcut this process without having to write out these middle steps by noticing what happened as we did this. The exponents on the variables, along with the index on the radical, really represent fractions. This means if I can divide the exponents and the index by the same common factor, we can reduce the index in one step. So, for example, when I've got the 8th root of x to the 6th y squared, we can see that all these numbers... whoops, let's get it in black here, 8th root of x to the 6th y squared, we can see that each of these numbers is divisible, each of these exponents and the index is divisible by 2. When we divide the index by 2, we get 4, and we get x to the 6 divided by 2 is 3, and y to the 2 divided by 2 is 1. By dividing the index and the exponents by the same value, we were able to reduce the index in one simple step. We can therefore reduce the index on a radical by dividing the index and all of the exponents by the same common factor.